A woman is in the hospital after being hit by a car while crossing Chippewa near Ted Drews to buy a Christmas tree. This is the third pedestrian to be hit by a car in the area in the last year and a half. Here's Fox 2's Mallory Thomas with the changes the city is looking to make and when they'll happen. Mallory. More lighting and a protected crosswalk. Those are just a couple of things the city announced they would be adding to this area after two people were hit and killed last year, but now then a year later and those things still haven't been done. The cars that are coming by are coming back by far too fast and they're not moving over into the next lane when they see clearly there is someone tying a tree to a car. Distracted drivers and people just not paying attention. Those are things Josh Dillon sees around here regularly along Chippewa. He says it has the owners of Ted Drew's looking for ways to make the area safer for their customers. What can we do? What can I put up? Is there some signage I can put? And uh, we keep being told to kind of wait because they're going to do something. But I would have loved in this last year, year and a half, to just have put some stuff up of our own. He says they're working with Alderman Tom Oldenburg to hopefully speed up the process. We've got the money appropriated to make the design fixes. Um, we are using ARPA dollars uh, to put a plan in place. It's unfortunate that these funds just move at the speed of government. A man in his 70s was hit and killed back in May of last year while crossing the street. Just a couple of months later, a 17 year old was killed while also crossing the street. Alderman Oldenburg says the city is working with MoDOT to get the curbs raised and a mid block crosswalk with a light signal. Trying to get all the dollars together. We, we missed the, the last summer. Uh, and the hope is that construction can start in the spring so that we're protecting custard goers and, and pedestrians uh, when it's in full swing this summer. And that woman who was hit Friday night again, she is still in the hospital with serious injuries. Police say that the driver did stick around and he is cooperating with police in St. Louis. Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.